You don't need to do one more course or one more training before you can launch your coaching or healing practice. But what you do need to do is to start taking strategic right action. Because here's the thing, many fledgling coaches, healers, energy workers, one of the biggest mistakes that they're making is that they're finding themselves lost in that rabbit hole of just one more course and then I'll launch my business or I'll do one more training and then I'll be enough. And I get it, it can be so scary to put yourself out there. And that's why one of the biggest challenges many coaches and healers find themselves experiencing is that they're on that merry-go-round of content consumption, going on courses, gathering qualifications, believing that they're moving towards their goal, when in reality all they're doing is going around in circles. So let me ask you this, as you look around and look at all of the motivational speakers, coaches, healers that are crushing it in their field, that are rocking it in the world of business and spirituality, is their success founded upon the number of courses they completed? No, and you've only got to look at Gabrielle Bernstein. She is a thought leader impacting the lives of people across the world. And as she says herself, her success was based upon her making a decision to take action to move from where she was to where she wanted to be. And where she was, was in this very dark place of drug and alcohol addiction. And where she wanted to go was to actually start impacting the lives of people. So how do we do it? How can we launch our successful spiritual business? Well, as Gabby said, her, her aha moment came when she actually listened to a very quiet voice inside of her that was telling her, hey Gabby, when you clean up, sober up, you will live the life of your dreams. And that's what she chose to do. So how can you do it? Well, what you need to do first of all, is to start leaning in, listening to that soft, quiet voice inside of you that's telling you you're here for a purpose. You're here to make a difference, to help other people, and then start taking strategic action. And what does that strategic action look like? Your first step is to actually get very clear on who you want to serve. And from there, you need to get clarity on what specific problem you're gonna help them solve. Once you've got clarity around that, you need to go out there, start talking to your people, asking them, is this a problem for you? And is this a problem that you would pay someone to solve? And if you're hearing consistently that the answer is yes, you, my friend, are onto something and you need to go out there, start serving the heck out of your people, giving them transformation and results, collecting testimonials, case studies, all of this is gonna give you clarity, it's gonna give you confidence and momentum and build your success. So let me ask you, what's your next step? Do you wanna to continue to sit on the sidelines and looking, wishing, hoping that your dreams can become a reality? My guess is no. My guess is that you want 2020 to be your breakthrough year. So you know that saying where the net, our net work is our net worth or that we're the sum total of the people we surround ourselves. So I'd encourage you to surround yourself with like-minded people that support you, get you, and are gonna cheer you on. And that's one reason why I created a beautiful community of soul-centered spiritual entrepreneurs we gather, we connect, we share ideas, we support each other, cheer each other along. So you can find the link to this amazing group of people at the end of this video. I'd encourage you to come on in and join us and let us cheer you on as you move towards your breakthrough 2020 year. Alrighty.